Renegade TV, where you get your fix on how to fix a Renegade. What's up guys? Today, we're going to install a 42 inch light bar from Oxbeam. I'll be doing a separate little review over the light bar itself and put a link in the description for y'all to see. Uh, some roughing that's going to take about three to four hours to do. Uh, I'm doing it at about four o'clock my time, so hopefully I'll get it done before it's dark. Um, you're going to need to go to your hardware store and get some cable and some stuff and tools and, and a speaker. Just need music and take everything off because we're going to do this the proper way and hide all the cables. Not saying that anybody else that does it is improper, but for it to look its finest and sharpest to make it look like, oh my god, how'd you do that? I'm not going to run it through this right here. I'm actually going to run it up through behind the roof under the vehicle into the engine bay through this and up in here and down into this little rubber grommet that I've already removed. This is what the rubber grommet is. And it's like way up in there. Right there, you see that? Right there. Um, again, it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna be taking little snippets every now and then here, between here and there. Um, I already had to do something. The light brackets I bought, which you can see in my branch guard video, the hole was too small. So I had to get a, I got a, oh shoot, I can't remember what it's called. But I basically got just a standard drill bit. That thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's on the tip of my tongue now. But yeah, and I drilled out the hole, made it bigger on each side. And now the bolt will fit. It just goes up there, yada, yada, yada. When we put that back on, it'll fit. I'm gonna be working on the wiring harness now, and I'll kind of walk y'all through it as much as I can. Again, uh, just patient with me on this because I've never done this before, a little nervous. Um, and yeah, I'll take a bunch of small little snippets, put them all together make the video and post it for you guys and yeah okay guys so we braided the cable I'm a few steps ahead of y'all and I'll walk y'all through it slowly and we fed it through because I got the trailhawk roof with the my sky the online instructions from way of life allows a much bigger gap than this um, it's best to get a drill and a clamp and hold it and braid it like so and hook it up there and put it down there we use electric tape because we can't get clamps down in there. In there ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> we can't get clamps down in there or the clips for the wiring harness. So what we did is we got electric tape and taped it down. And now we're going to put the rack back on and I'll show you what we're doing back there in a second. All right, guys. So we got the light bar up, got the roof mount back on. Everything's back up there, okay? Now we're going to get to the hardest part. Uh, I say it's the hardest part because we're going to be wiring it in now. Um, what you're going to do, you can this around. Once you get your thing back on, you get your wiring harness and your loom, loom everything together. It's going to go back down here, okay, on this, once your tail light's off, okay. The tail light, if you got Trailhawk, it's this little panel, you're going to undo that butterfly nut and undo that wiring harness right there, okay. It pops out super easy. Um, you're just going to wire it down there. And there's a spot right here, and it's going to fall through the panel. You're going to take off this panel, and it's going to just pop out right here okay and what I did I'm gonna see how this works and it should work is I ran it behind here behind this nut okay up and over it to hold it come across here because none of this is moving I want to provide tension to this the whole time but I'm gonna put it right here on top of the brake line mount I'm gonna get me a zip tie or I might just try to shove it between the mount there we go right down here between the mount right here and then down here, I'm gonna get some zip ties and zip tie this thing down, that's where it doesn't move. And then you're gonna weave it under here, okay? All along this underface right here. It's not going up into this at all. It's staying all along this edge. You have to undo this, pop this panel off right here just a little bit and pop it out here. And you're gonna wire it up to where it comes up underneath here, okay? And then we're gonna run it all the way along this side panel to the front one, okay? You have to take the wheel off for this or you're not going to be able to get it done right. And we'll put the rear wheel back on, move up to the front, take the front wheel off, and we'll actually start to get to the more complicated part of hooking up to the battery and that wiring harness itself, which came with my light bar. It's a very nice wiring harness. I already got the connectors. I bought some extras for my cables. All this is wired up. I actually already pushed this through, through the grommet, up on the floorboard. 
down here, okay? And that's what hooks up to this, which hooks up to your pressure switch to activate your actual light bar and your daylight runner lights, okay? And I'll give y'all a walk through here in a second on how I did that as well. All right, guys. So we're gonna end up putting these relays right here. We're gonna self-tap them into this, onto this metal sheet underneath this for support because there really is nowhere to put them on here. We ran it along here, down this side, right, okay? So this goes along the fender on the inside. This little tool, if you do not have this, with a little claw at the end, it is a lifesaver. Like, in general, for plumbing and stuff like that, getting hair out of the pipes and all this, I mean, this is a lifesaver. Okay, enough of that. So, we came down here and I ended this screw too and popped this panel out. And basically, this cable ran all the way up from there, okay, down here. On the inside of the door, you have to kind of like pull the foam out just a teeny tad bit. Like, a second person is definitely needed for this crap. And it just fell down from there through here and we're gonna put it through this little hole right here and it's gonna go all the way down and around underneath this okay there's some points in here there's like five or six points that's gonna go along to it I'm gonna zip tie it to it to hold it and basically I got these connectors so I get to cheat and I'm gonna tie it to the end of that and cut that one off and it's gonna meet like somewhere around where those doors meet I'm gonna plug them in right right okay this is the cool part I'm gonna plug in the battery part which is gonna be an experiment because there's like four of these for some reason, but that's detail. And your two fuses are gonna be right alongside the relays. And we're gonna start her up and just hope she works, all right? I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, so I got the relays done. I popped this off right here and self-tapped them into right there, okay? Relays, fuse, hooked up the positives under here. I hooked the negatives up right here. All right, hope y'all are ready for this. It's gonna be the, put the hood down. Boom. Branch guard, thanks. Ready? This is your daytime runners. They're not too horribly bright. They're like little crosses. I absolutely love them. I think they're perfect. They're not bright at all. You might get pulled over for the first few times, so just explain to the cops they're daytime runner lights. Carry the paperwork. Okay, this is the actual light bar. 24,000 whopping lumens. Daytime runners alongside with it. And, oh my Jesus, this thing is freaking bright. Like, wow. That's like, let me grab my keys real quick. Let me just show you how bright that is. Where is my keys? Let's see if my headlights are on. Boom, headlights. No headlights. Headlights. Okay. Let me just turn off the light bar. Headlights. Daytime running lights. No difference hardly whatsoever, right? Light bar! Again, <laughs> this was a very fun project. A real pain. It looks really nice. Can't wait to get everything back together again. Got everything on the ground. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, don't be afraid to ask them. I comment almost hourly as much as I can with work and all. Um, I bought 20 feet of extra wire. There's, now well, let's see how much is left. I'm 6'1", and that's approximately 6'2 left on cable. So, again, thanks for watching. 20 feet's extra, I know. Better be safe than sorry, though. Every car is a little, I know every Renegade's the same, but depending on how tight you tighten that thing, could be different. Um, everything fits good. I even, I did something cool here too. I want to go ahead and show y'all real quick. So, my antenna, right? I ran the cable down here. Well, it obviously gets in the way for this. So I ran it straight down along here into the wire loom, into the light, okay? Now most of y'all are thinking, oh, where'd it go? See, I ran it back into here and I ran it out this clip right here, okay? And I'm going to run it down along here, past the seat, back to where it was. So it's completely hidden now. There's no antenna cable like there was along here in the way. And yeah, it's going to look really great. Again, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I will 100% answer them with the best of my knowledge. And I'll leave a product link in the description if it'll let me. Uh, this is the Oxbeam light bar. $75, totally worth every penny. Again, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and catch you guys soon.